Shakir, we are moving on to food for the eye. We mm -hmm. had Ramesh give us a quick look on the uh, quick and easy meal. Mexican food that we followed earlier on. Burritos. I love burritos. Yes, and you, I know mm -hmm. you were going for it, but uh, not yeah. yet. Later. <laughs> After work. Yeah. Save the best for last. <laughs> That's right. So, meanwhile, from food, we're also talking about food for the eye. We have the doctor in the house. Now, check this out. This is a book he did. Uh, Homemade Greek yogurt. How's that? And this is page number <laughs> 30. Oh, yum. Her favorite page. Why? All right. So there you go. Let me just show that. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yogurt. Awesome, isn't it? So what kind of food is good for the eye? And why is he talking about food for the eye? What's the relevance? Uh, let's talk to our guest in the studios. Uh, we'd like to welcome Dr. Kenneth Fong Chung, San, uh, Fong Chung Sien, consultant ophthalmologist of Harley Street. And of course, we've got Mrs. Uh, Pon Kui Ng, who's a patient of uh, Dr. Kenneth. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome Madam to the studio. Madam Pond, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about this. Now, when you say food for the eye, what does it all mean? Basically, it's about what's nutritious for your eye. Okay. And uh, as an Asian culture, we are very concerned about what we take and mm -hmm. eat. And there's one particular eye disease called age-related macular degeneration, or AMD for short, okay. Okay. that is particularly good um, for, for taking supplements or nutrients to prevent it and to help. Um, treat this condition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And Madam Pon has been having AMD for a while. Uh, could you just tell us a little bit about the? Uh, uh, Madam Pon is one of my AMD patients who have been treated by me for the last few years, mm -hmm. and she has AMD in, in one eye, mm -hmm. and she's required um, injections and laser treatment to save the vision in that eye. But on the other hand, the other eye is still good, mm -hmm. and uh, she's been taking preventive measures, um, like and to to protect the eye from AMD. Now, now how bad is? Um how, how bad does AMD affect the vision? Um, AMD is the most common cause of severe visual loss okay. in people above the age of 50. Okay. And it causes such bad visual loss, uh, um, if it's not treated, you'll be registered blind. Okay. So it is quite a severe eye condition. Okay. And there's very little awareness about it. I see, and now, I see. Madam Pond, when did you, you realise you have a problem? Uh, were you in, you wearing glasses uh, in your younger days? Uh, no. Uh, but uh, when I was towards about end of uh, 2010, mm -hmm. so I realized that my vision is going very bad mm -hmm. and uh, I couldn't see in the middle part. Oh. So, so I felt that something wrong. I did went for uh, one or two clinic, eye clinic, uh -huh. but they can't find out anything for me. Mm -hmm. But later on, my friend recommended me to one of the clinic uh, at the Jalan Tuan Ku Abdul Rahman there. So that doctor, uh, after examining me, then they confirmed that I got an MD. Mm. Oh. So this doctor is very good. He highly recommended me to Dr. Fong. Mm -hmm. okay. So after that, I will go under Dr. Fong's treatment. I see. Yeah. I see. I'm Age. glad. <laughs> Age-related macular degeneration. I, I don't think this is like a... You know, it's it's one, something that we've heard very often. Yes, yes. Uh, so maybe just for the benefit of the viewers and the ones watching us at yeah. the moment, um, w how do you know when yeah. you, you know, I mean, a lot of us wear glasses. Let's yeah. just admit yeah. it, a lot of the younger generation wear glasses. Yeah. But this one only affects... Uh, above 50. Above but 50. if you are very short-sighted, uh -huh. if you're myopic, you can get macular degeneration as well. And the best way to tell if you have any eye problems is to cover one eye. Okay. okay. A lot of people don't realize they have one eye have a problem until yes. they cover their good eye and then they're seeing with their bad eye. Okay, uh, now so I, I then it's how, blurry. That's how would right. I know if I have a good eye or a blurry well, eye? Well, if you, oh, you have to look at the straight line. I'm if the straight lines don't appear straight or they appear wavy or blurred, then mm. there's something wrong with your macula. Oh. The macula is the um, is the back okay, of the eye. Again. Let me just hold this up so, if the camera can zoom so in. So this is the eye itself. All right. That's the front of the eye, that's the back of the eye. So we are more concerned about the nerve layer at the back of the eye, mm -hmm. and that's called the macula. Mm. So this is something you cannot see from the outside. Right. Right. If okay. your eye is red or whatever, it's, mm -hmm. it's, doesn't, it's, not, it's nothing to do with it. It's the nerve inside your eye. Mm -hmm. So as Madam Pond said, you only notice that central vision is lost. If right. you, patients cannot see faces. Okay. They can see your ears and your hair, but they can't see it's your face. It's just blurred. Mm. That's right. Okay. So that's the most common uh, symptom that you get. All right, now it looks like we've got a caller online. Miss um, Producer, do we have a caller? Okay, not yet. No? Okay, right. now for those of you out there, 2282-857-8579, give us a call if you want to talk to the doctor or you want to find out a little bit more about AMD itself. Uh, now, when you, as you mentioned, we can't see this normally yes, you can. Mm -hmm. from outside. Yeah. So, what's the process when it comes to, if we ever come? In? Basically, um, only an eye doctor can diagnose it because we have to put special drops in your eye to dilate your pupil mm -hmm. and use a special instrument to look at the back of the eye. And then we have to do various tests 
photographs at the back of the eye to confirm the diagnosis. I see. And then we, de we de determine how bad the condition is and then mm -hmm. decide what course of treatment to give. And, and now that you mentioned treatment, usually yes. what would the uh, treatment be? Currently, given? the treatment involves injections I of uh, special drugs into the eye. Okay. Uh, that may re and the problem with those treatments is you need that every month. Okay. Yes. And then some patients respond to that and also they require what we call laser treatment mm -hmm. to stop the bleeding at the back of the eye because okay. it's really bleeding from blood vessels in your retina. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And, and AMD, it comes in different types. There are That's a few right. types. Could yep. you just yep. uh, give us an elaboration yep. on yep. that? The most common type is called dry AMD. Okay. That's about 80% of patients. Okay. And what in, in that case, that they notice very gradual loss of central vision. Uh -huh. And they might think it's old age, but they don't have it checked. And then the doctor tells them they're dry AMD. Mm -hmm. And this group of patients will benefit from uh, high doses of antioxidants uh, lutein, azeaxanthin, and omega-3 to prevent these patients from becoming wet AMD. Oh, and wet okay. AMD is what uh, Madam Pond Madam had, Pond which has. is a sudden um, bleeding at the macula and a sudden loss of vision. Okay. And that requires uh, months and months of treatment. Madam Pond, how is, how is your sight at the moment? Um, uh, is it clear? Can you see the two of us very clearly? Uh, or is, has it, yeah, is at it this moment, blur? after the treatment uh, is almost about two years plus already, mm -hmm. now it's much better. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. almost 90%. Wow, Fabulous. that's great. Yes, I'm So correct. you took a two year, it's a two year, it's a long uh, period then, yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for, for you to go through. Yes, y yeah, it's very good because uh, I'm glad, uh, you know, I went to see Dr. Fong and then the first time I visit him, and uh, he gave me a very good picture about it, understanding how the thing. Mm -hmm. So we go under his treatment. I see. So with injection and laser. So I'm glad until today, I'm almost uh, the vision is almost go up to 90 percent. Fantastic, fantastic. So she's quite typical of the uh, AMD patients mm. that um, follow the treatment. Unfortunately, in Malaysia, a lot of patients default. Mm -hmm. They don't come back after one or two. Right. They might feel after one injection, uh, my eyes better, I don't yeah. need to come back. Mm -hmm. But you need to continue the follow-up. I see. And once you continue the follow-up, there is a, a, a light at the end of the tunnel where you get your sight back and you don't need any further treatment. Okay. So I think that's important for the public to understand. It's not something I can give a tablet for mm. and cure it right away. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not like a headache that can just no, go away. No, this is, right. a, this is a chronic disease mm. that needs chronic disease treatment. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, are we going to be taking a short break? Yes, we are going to be taking a quick break. We'll come back to you with the doctor in the house. Meanwhile, 2282-8578-2282-8579. Give us a call, Malaysia. See you in a bit. So there you go. Uh, once again, Malaysia, 5th of May is D-Day. So remember, make that vote. If you don't want to vote, like I said earlier, it's your constitutional right. So we'll talk about that in a bit later. We do have a caller online for our food for the day uh, topic of the doctor. Hi, good afternoon. Alfred of KL. Hi. Hello? Alfred, are you there? Hello, hello. Alfred? No, we've lost him. Okay, oh, we've well. lost Alfred. Now, um, like Alfred, if you want to give us a call, 2282-8578-8579, Malaysia, give us a call. We are talking about food for the eye, and the doctor here was commenting about what Ramesh did earlier. And that would be um, uh, most of the ingredients that Ram Ramesh uh, used yeah. for the burrito that we had. Uh, they're good for the eyes. And yeah. could you name a few of those ingredients? I mean, it, it, I was very, I was very, I'm feeling quite hungry now. <laughs> In the studio, you yeah, can't, the smell the TV, the viewers can't un for, accept that the smell is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so nice. Right. And what's interesting is that you have the colourful vegetables you chose, the That's peppers, right. the mm. tomatoes, the really bright and colourful vegetables. These are rich with um, natural um, lutein and zeaxanthin. Mm. These two are what we call pigments mm -hmm. that are found at the back of your eye I and see. they protect your eye from AMD, this disease. Okay. So if you want to just have a very simple everyday way of protecting your eyes, eating colourful vegetables, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, oily fish and things like that every day and that will help uh, in, 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 a, in a way of preventing AMD from okay. happening. Okay, right. well hold that thought doctor because yeah. we have a caller online, uh, we don't want to lose them. Hi, good afternoon. Ellie from where? Ali? Hey, hi. hi. Okay, my, I have a question to ask, Dr. Fong. Okay, please. I was playing badminton a year ago. Okay. Accidentally, one of my opponents smashed the settle into my eye. Oh, wow. He went to see a doctor at University Hospital. And uh, they did give me some drugs. And asked me to return about a week later. Meanwhile, I was suffering from 
eye problem in the sense I was hearing and very red and vision not very good. So I did go back and he said my retina was affected. I needed to undergo an implant. Now my question is, why did not the eye drop work for me as what you said? In a long process, it should be okay without undergoing going to the plant. Number two, one of my friends had a stroke, a very much stroke, and his eye was affected. Vision was rather blurred, and uh, he went to the he, she went to Doctor Saint Horn, and then he said she had to undergo an operation. Why couldn't this be prevented, Doctor? Okay. All right. Uh, Thank you very much. Thanks, Alice. Thank you, Alice. Thank you so much. Now, um, very sorry, Alice, but the phone, uh, there was a little bit of a disruption, so we couldn't clear clearly hear you. Uh, doctor, yeah. could you just catch what no she problem. had to yeah, ask? Yeah, basically, me? Alice asked two questions. One is uh, injury to her eye from a shuttlecock, which yeah. is quite common. Um, trauma, trauma to your eyes, uh, especially play squash or badminton, two very favorite sports in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Um, can damage your eye by causing a retinal detachment. Wow. Right. So the nerve layer at the back of your eye can, can come off and that requires surgery. Uh, so I think that's probably what's happened to her. Is that what you rec recommend to Alice? Uh, to if go she for has surgery? this retinal detachment, then she requires urgent surgery. Okay. It can also cause things like cataract or bleeding in the eye that may, may can take a bit longer mm -hmm. to treat. The other second question about stroke in the eye. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you can get stroke in your eye because the blood vessel to your eye is very, very narrow. It can be blocked and that can happen at any age. Um, and that may require treatment like injections or surgery. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Now, we're looking at treatment and prevention. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, well, the question that I had early on was, um, you know, what causes AMD? Mm. Yep. AMD happens actually because of our modern um, society. Okay. We are living longer. Our eyes are not designed to live beyond 60 or 70 years old. So people are living longer and longer mm. and they get degenerative diseases okay. of the eye. Number one is age. Number two, another thing is um, diet. Mm. We're eating a diet full of uh, saturated fats, lacking in antioxidants, lacking in colorful fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. a lot of processed okay. foods. This leads to an increase in um, these sort of diseases like diabetes and AMD. Number three is smoking. Smoking okay. is a very strong risk factor for All AMD. Right. So these are the top three, Okay, I would okay. Say. thank you. Yeah. All right, so now, uh, very quickly, the doctor has uh, a book here. It, he literally, you know, it's, it's called Food for Your Eyes. And... Um, it's basically to tell you about what kind of food you might want to take in terms of, uh, you know, nutrients for the eye. Yep, yes, doctor. Yep, yep, that's right. All right. So and uh, where can they where can this, they find this? This book is available at all major bookstores. It just won the best health cookbook in the world award wow. for 2012. Wow! In the world, yeah. In the world, congrats. We, yeah, the, my my daughter, the, my co-author is my wife, who happens to be a dietitian. So okay. we had to travel to Paris to for the ceremony. Fantastic! And it's, uh, with, together with Chef One, who also won best TV chef award. So Fantastic! It's a it's a it's a small little project that. We're, we're proud of. You yes. can also buy it online um, at the uh, if you look MPH online, you can get it online as well. Okay, yeah, all right. Fact. So there you go. Food for the eyes. It's the best in the world. So make sure you grab a book just to get an idea of what you know, what kind of nutrients are good for your eyes. Also, uh, lovely, lovely recipes here that might just interest your children as well. And with that, thank you so much, Dr. Kenneth. Thank, thank you very you much, and Madam Pond. Thank you very much. Yeah.